Hello there, I'm Chornet. Welcome to our channel. Today we have brought to you modern bank page design ideas. This video contains a collection of beautiful, amazing, modern bank page designs which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. A bank page is a type of bed in which one bed frame is stacked on top of another, allowing two or more beds to occupy the floor space usually required just for one. They are commonly seen on ships, in the military, and in hostels, dormitories, summer camps, prisons, and the like. Bunk beds are normally supported by four poles or pillars, one at each corner of the bed. A ladder is used to get to the upper bed, which is normally surrounded by a railing to prevent the sleeper from falling out. Some models also have a privacy curtain for the lower bunk. Because of the need for a ladder and the height of the bed, the top bunk of a bed is not recommended for children under 6 years of age. A loft bed is an elevated bed similar to a bunk bed, but without the lower beds, freeing floor space for other furniture such as a desk which might be built into the loft bed. The most common type is the standard bunk bed, which has two same size mattresses stacked one directly over the other. A twin over full bunk bed is arranged as a standard except that the bottom mattress is a full size and the upper is a twin size. A full over full bunk is otherwise called as a wider bed, which means both top and bottom has the same wider size. They both have a double bed and a total of four people can sleep in it at the same time. A futon bunk is also arranged like a standard bunk, except the lower bunk is a western style futon couch, which converts into a bed rather than a standard mattress. Futon banks can be used to save space in small apartments or rooms because the lower bed converts into a couch for use during the daytime. In an L-shaped bank, the bottom bed is oriented at a right angle to the top bed such that when viewed from above, the beds form an L. This also creates a small alcove where a desk or bookshelf can be placed. A loft bed denotes a bunk bed that has only the top bunk, creating an open space underneath that can be occupied by a chest, drawers, or even a work area. This makes loft bed an efficient use of small spaces by utilizing the entire vertical area that would otherwise be left unused. Some loft beds even have stowable beds while retaining the capability to contain workstations and drawers. Loft beds can be more expensive than bank beds due to built-in storage capacity and other features. A triple loft bed is an arrangement involving a total of three bunks. These bunks are a combination of bed types where a loft bed is perpendicularly attached to a bank bed to form an L shape. The bunk or bunks above the lowest one may have rails to keep the occupant from falling out. 
While bunk beds are now a staple in modern home furnishings, thanks to their playful fun and, and the way they save on space while maximizing the sleep areas, they haven't been around forever. Where is the starting point for the history of the bunk bed? Let's take a closer look at the history of bunk beds. The idea of a bed was first seen in ancient Egypt. Before this time, people would usually just sleep on the hard ground with a little hay as a buffer. The Egyptians were the first to start making what we think of as beds. While they weren't made of completely enclosed springs like today, they were the first frame style beds. The Egyptians would usually make a bed frame out of wood and then fill the frame with a softer material such as cotton or feathers. While these beds were originally intended for only for the noble and elite of society, eventually beds would become a normal concept around the world as a necessary household furniture. Bank beds have come a long way since it is first designed, but even the most recent options still share some characteristics with older designs. These are essentially what differentiate a bank bed from a regular bed. A bank bed is mainly used to save space, which is why these beds usually come stacked on top of each other. In most cases, only two beds will be stacked with a ladder giving people access to the upper level. There are fancier and modern designs out there that advances on these features, but the general idea still remains that bunk beds include a stacking of beds on top of each other to assist with saving space. When we look at the most common types of bunk beds, bunk beds have been modified to suit the needs of specific settings in the modern world, giving customers the ability to choose from a number of different bunk bed types when they decide to shop for one of these beds. Let's look at some of the most popular bunk bed types. Number one, twin over twin bunk beds. This is often considered the traditional bunk bed with two twin-sized beds mounted on top of each other. A ladder is usually provided that allows a person to access the bed mounted as a top. Number two, twin over double bunk beds. Another popular option, the twin over double bunk bed design features a twin-sized bed at the top and a double-sized bed at the bottom. Number three, L-shaped bunk beds. A more recent design, that is made to form an L shape. These bunk beds usually include two twin sized beds, but the beds are not mounted directly on top of each other. Instead, an area is built into the design that provides different types of features, such as drawers or working space. Number four, triple stacked bunk beds. An option that is more popular in settings such as military or camp. The triple stacked bunk bed design features three twin size beds that are stacked on top of each other. A ladder is used to access the middle and top bed. Number five, foot on bunk beds. This is one of the most convenient options when it comes to bunk beds. The design enables the bottom bed to be converted into a couch during the day and then back into a bed when a person wants to sleep. Whether looking for a way to save space in a single room that two of your children need to share or trying to find the perfect way to save space in your small apartment, bunk beds with steps of great versatility. Newer bunk beds also come in some sophisticated design varieties providing a way to not only save space but also add an attractive new accessory in a room. There are lots of different varieties of styles to select from. There are a number of plans to buy if you want to develop one for yourself. Most bank bed furniture now 
every day are made from metal or hardwood. A typical bunk bed bunk mattresses has one twin dimensions bed along with yet another. These dual measurements beds are usually prolonged to more very long bed size when utilized for adult such as university or college occupant halls. Bunk bed safety. For maximum safety when using bunk beds, take certain precautions. Guardrails should be used on the upper bunk. Only those who are six years old or older should be allowed to use the top bunk. The ladder should be sturdy and secure to the frame. Children should not be allowed to use the upper bunk as play area. Ensure the framework and mattresses supports on both the upper and lower bunks are secure. Make regular checks for loose parts. Make use of a night light to make the ladder more visible in the dark. The American Society of Testing Materials set forth the following the voluntary standards that requires, among other things, that all spaces between the guardrail and the bed frame and all spaces in the head and foot boards on the top bunk be less than three and a half inches. The standard also requires that bunk beds have guardrails on both sides of the top bunk. Bunk beds come in many varieties, lightweight frames and trendy, modernist tubular designs have made this item of furniture a smart and fashionable addition to many living spaces. Of course, the traditional wooden bunk bed design is still immensely popular and there are all shapes and sizes to choose from. Bunk beds are generally supported by four pillars at each one of the four corners of the bed. Although with a bit of inventive do-it-yourself and imagination, this standard design quickly be, can quickly be personalized, reinvented and even disguised in all sorts of artistic ways. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of beautiful modern bunk bed design ideas for you and inspiration. If you like such content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And also smash that notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.